Alrighty, what is up dudes? Welcome to Small Bravely Default, where we are here in Florum, in the city. And we're going to go a bit further in, deeper in the city, and see what's going to happen. Let's talk to these chicks, because they're always stuck up. This hairpin costs an arm and two legs, but isn't it just amazing? It's a hairpin, woman. It's a hairpin. Gosh, each girl is cuter than the next. It's a buffet for the eyes. The other day, when Mama wasn't looking, I tried her lipstick. It was super pretty. Okay. Looks like we got to go in here. Hmm. Who might you be, child? I am Anya Oblige, Vestal of Wind. It has been many years, Lady Matriarch. Ah, oh, I see it now. My, but you've grown, dear. Florum is more beautiful for your visit. On the topic of Florum's beauty, Lady Matriarch, just what has happened here? Then you've seen it, have you? Be sister to the flowers, woods, and waters, pure of mind and body. Those were Florum's ways. Emphasis on were, I fear. Now the girls war over who can ornament herself the loudest. They spend their days staring into mirrors while nature's beauty is lost to them. Their neglect has turned Florum's lands to wastes. Her beauty is all but lost. How has this happened? At some point, there emerged the notion that prosperity was limited only to the most beautiful. But you guide this land's laws, Lady Matriarch. Did you notice no change? Not until it was complete, I fear. It truly was an insidious thing. And now, I am left to curse my powerlessness to reverse this corrosive tide. I join you in despair, Lady Matriarch. My pure and... Going to cut you off there, Ringabel. Lady Matriarch, I wish to speak with the Vestal of Water. Is Olivia at the temple? Ah, oh, of course. The two of you were so inseparable as girls. You scarce passed a day apart. Seems almost yesterday that fond memories of fairer times. But I fear the Vestal of Water is in hiding. Even I cannot say where she makes her hermitage. No. Then, how does the Temple of Water fare? It suffers for the absence of its mistress and her acolytes. These months have seen it go ragged. Agnes, it may still hold some clue. Why don't we begin there? Yes, yes, of course. What a Vestal and me! Sounds like you and the Vestal of Water were really close. Olivia was my one and only friend. She is very dear to me. We are the same age, and were selected as Vestlings around the same time. Then we succeeded our predecessors and became full Vestals together as well. We were always together, walking the same path and step. I do not know that I could have endured the Vestal training without her. She was always the talented one. Smarter than I, but kinder as well. She shone to so bright. There was a time we traded letters nearly every day. Despite the distance separa separating us, she always felt close by. Once we became Vestals, our responsibilities kept us from writing as often, but... Never imagined anything like this. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find her. She's probably busy looking for you right now, too. Yes, of course. And thank you, Tiz. You are welcome. Alright. Let's uh, head out of here. I did a lot of training, by the way. A butt ton. So we shouldn't run into any problems for a little while, at least. 
and I should have enough money to buy a few things. A level 27, so that's pretty good. Um, let's go to the armory. I'm pretty sure there was some armor I could get. Uh, wasn't that? Was it the robe? Uh, yeah, let's get three of these. Four thousand. Oh, my sides. It took so much money. That's fine. At least we get a bit of defense up. Ooh, not bad at all. Was it you I wanted the um no it was yeah, it was ring a bell, definitely. I think uh Ilya will keep the uh, armor for a bit because she's a knight and it suits her better. A bit more defense and stuff, it's all good. So where are we heading? How far is it? Oh my god, that Oh no! Oh, for a second I thought it was really far away. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Wait, is it down here? It's really hard to tell where the um, the little uh, the point of the uh, mark points to. Looks exactly like the Temple of Wind, but more blue. Not a person in sight. Still, it's a relief to see the temple was unharmed. The Temple of Wind was torn apart. I was worried we'd find the same here. Indeed. At the very least, it seems the Acolytes escaped, har escaped harm. Or so I hope. The smell of the air here is so nostalgic. I hear all four temples share a similar design. Perhaps they all feel this, this way. The construction is plain. Just stone and simple windows. No ornamentation to speak of. But when the sun, sun filters in, the prayer hall was surfaced, uh, surfaced with a calm warmth. We used to love just watching the light pour through the windows. I can imagine how peaceful that would be. I'm certain it seemed a, it seemed a dreadful, dull and monotonous life to outsiders. But to me, life in the temple was rich and perfectly tranquil. Tran tranquility is great in moderation. But didn't you ever get the urge to know what was going on in the outside world? There's none. There's not as if we completely forsook, forsook the world around us. God, I cannot speak. The world within the temple was simply enough for us. That's all. All right. Hopefully, the enemies around here are pretty fun to beat. And there's always a chest down this bit here, like in the um, other temple and like all the other places we went to. Okay, uh, I have no idea where we're gonna go. Well, I know we need to go up, but. I want to explore a little bit. Get some chests. This place is in a grim state, but it feels different from the Temple of Wind somehow. There are no traces of damage from monster or miasma. This is erosion. Time left these scars. <sighs> well, that ain't good. What are these chests at? There they are. High potion. Looking for them ethers though. More chests. Phoenix down, not bad. Even though Phoenix downs are now kind of redundant now that we got the uh, the raise ability. Nothing. There's no sign of anyone here. The same as the Temple of Wind. No. It looks the same, but it's anything but. What do you mean? It isn't that no one is here. There is no sign of anyone ever having been here. Not in years. Oh, that ain't good. There's another chest just there, but what's around this way? Another chest! So many chests that we had. Ice charm. Sounds cool. Check it out later. And what's in this one? Explosion. There's no enemies around here so far. Have a look. These are Vestal Guards, aren't they? They should be Olivia's. The design is a bit different from yours, I guess. Not bad, I must say. Must you? Really? You must indeed. 
way, can we go down there? Yes, there we go. Just uh, make sure we get all this bit kind of connected. So we get a full detailed map of the area. More chests! Eva, nice, that's what I was looking for. There's a save point just here. So it could be a boss. Uh, these friend bots are gonna suck. Level it's a level 25 tiers, but the power is pretty horrible. Hard at work, I see. Nope, hardly working. Alright, let's just quickly save it. Just in case there is a boss or something to fight in a sec. Let's go. for some button uh, mashing. And the last time we did the wind crystal was X X X X X X X X so many X's or A's or whatever it was. It was a lot. And there was not a boss there. Which kinda sucks. I was ready to kick some ass. Let no believer escape! Show any who struggle no mercy! They found us! It's over! All over! Keep hope alive! We have to make it to safety! Now run! What was our crime? Is a quiet life of piety such a grave offense? We've done no wrong. No wrong at all. <laughs> 